Nazare's sister town, Sitio, is perched high above on a bluff. A funicular connects the two, and it's been saving locals a steep climb since 1889. Sitio has its own vibe. The stony main square evokes a bygone age. Its wealth came from farming rather than fishing, and today the main economy is tourism. From the edge of the bluff, you can enjoy a commanding view. Nazare and its golden beach stretch all the way to the new harbor. In the other direction, a wilder beach stretches far to the north. And when the surf's up here, it's really up. This bluff is famous among surfers for some of the biggest waves in the world. When conditions align, they create monster waves 100 feet high as daredevil surfers enjoy the ultimate ride. It's dinner time and we're ready to feast on the bounty of the sea. Tempting appetizers are put on the table. But beware, in Portugal, you pay for every nibble. If you don't want them, just say so. So in Portugal, they put this on the table whether you ask for it or not. You might think it's free, but it's not. But it's always delicious. But these are just too tasty to miss. Vino Verde, literally green wine, is a Portuguese specialty. Refreshing and sprightly, it's a young or green wine, picked, bottled, and enjoyed without aging. A key to good seafood here is fresh ingredients and simple preparation. All right, Teresa, here comes some shrimp and garlic for you. With a small group, I order family style to maximize the experience. We're enjoying grilled sardines, sea bream, garlic shrimp, and calderada, the local fish stew. 